It's a giant ABC maze. I'm gonna tell you about it next. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina with the Purple Alphabet. Let's make a giant ABC maze and or game or however you wanna play it. Here it is, it's really easy. I'm using a Sharpie marker and some paper plates. You don't have to use paper plates. You could use construction paper or regular paper or post-it notes or whatever you have. I like the paper plates. I bought them in bulk care. I have plenty of them. I just like them because they're a little bit sturdier and I like the size of them because I'm gonna actually have my kids step on them. So you're gonna need quite a few. You're gonna at least need probably double the alphabet. And what you're gonna do is on each one, you're gonna write the letters of the alphabet. If you're working on uppercase, use uppercase. If you're working on lowercase, use lowercase, but probably best to stay consistent or maybe even use both on the same paper plate. So you're just gonna wanna go through and write the alphabet at least once through. So I've got two stacks of alphabets here, all the way A through Z. Depending on how you wanna do this and how big you wanna make it, you can do additional letters as well. Take all of these paper plates and arrange them on your floor. You're gonna need a rather large space because there are a lot of letters and you're gonna just place them in a grid-like form. And one set of the letters, you need to make sure that they're gonna be in order. So this is a maze. So you need to make sure the ABCs are all the way in order and all the other ABCs that you put around them are miscellaneous and won't mess up the game. So for instance, you wouldn't put two of the same letter right next to each other. You might wanna switch those out so the child isn't confused and can find the path. So the easiest way to play this is to run through the whole alphabet from A to Z, getting all the way to the finish line, or you could use some dice, give them a roll, see what number pops up, and move that many spaces through the puzzle. If you're playing with multiple children, you can see how many rolls it takes to get to the end. This is just a really great physical way to learn the ABCs and even to involve some counting with the dice if you want to. Let me know in the comments what you think. I love to read your comments. I read them all the time. In fact, it's one of my best parts of my day. Click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love. The letter and put it on the letter B. Or take the letter, put it on the letter C and so on and so forth until you're done and fill up your whole sheet.